Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little dress for a baby between one and three months using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and light number three baby yarn. If you want to make this little dress for a newborn, all you have to do is use a three millimeter crochet hook with light number three baby yarn. You can also make it a little bit bigger, let's say from three to six months, just use a four millimeter crochet hook with baby yarn, and for six to nine months, just use a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now, you can also make it between nine and 12 months um, using a five millimeter crochet hook with baby yarn. You can also use a number four if it's maybe for the winter, the baby can wear it with a long sleeve onesie. Um, that's another option. So you can use a number four yarn with a five millimeter crochet hook and you'll get a better size um, between nine and 12 months. And the measurements are, uh, from the top of the neckline up here to the bottom down here, it measures 13 inches, which is about 33 centimeters, and around the waistline, around this part here, around the skirt. It measures 27 inches, which is about 68 centimeters. And remember, the sizes that I give you, they're not exact, they're an approximate, um, they're based on my internet research, and since not all babies are the same size. And this is what it looks like up front. There's the yoke. I made the yoke using bean stitches and single crochets, and the skirt is made with stitch number 45. Okay, so without further say, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'll be using this light number three baby yarn. I'll be using Lion Brand Baby Soft, it's a light number three in the color Parfait Print. And notice that we're going to have some color variations since this is a variegated yarn. Okay, to begin, I have 90 chains. Into the second chain from the hook, we're going to make one single crochet. One single crochet into the next chain. And one single crochet into each one of these chains all the way to the very end. At the end of this first row, you should have a total of 89 single crochets. So continue like this. I will meet you at the end to show you the second row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the first row. I have a total of 89 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn, and into this first single crochet, we're going to make one single crochet. For every row, we're going to begin one with one single crochet and we're going to end with one single crochet. So now here into the next single crochet, we're going to make a bean stitch, okay? Um, you can either make your bean stitch with four loops or with six. I'm going to make it with six since I like the fullness of the six loops, okay? So into the next single crochet, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Make sure that these loops that you pull are nice and loose so that when we close our bean, it's not going to get caught into these loops, okay? So yarn over, insert your hook again, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. We have six loops on our hook. Close, chain one. Okay, here's our first bean stitch. Now skip one single crochet and into the next, again, one more bean stitch. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Six loops on my hook, close, chain one. There's two. Skip one single crochet and into the next, make one more bean stitch. Six loops, close, chain one. Again, skip one single crochet and into the next, one more bean stitch. Six loops, close, chain one. Okay, skip one single crochet and into the next, Again, one more bean stitch. Close, 
close, chain one. Okay, so we have five bean stitches separated by, by one single crochet. So now we're going to skip one single crochet and into the next single crochet, we're going to make two double crochets, one, two, chain two, two double crochets, one, Two. Okay, so now here we're going to skip one single crochet and into the next we're going to make again our bean stitches separated by one single crochet and we're going to do this until we have a total of 10 bean stitches and then we're going to skip one single crochet and into the next we're going to make this fan. So let me show you this side and then you're, you'll be on your own to complete the other two sides. Okay, so here we're going to skip one single crochet and into the next, make a bean stitch, six loops, close, chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, one more bean stitch, chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, one bean stitch. chain one, skip one and into the next, one bean stitch. Okay, six loops, close, chain one. Skip one and into the next, one more bean stitch, chain one, skip one and into the next, one bean stitch. chain one. We have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to make four more. So skip one and into the next, one more bean stitch. Okay, that's seven. Skip one and into the next, eight. Skip one and into the next, nine, skip one and into the next, again, one more bean stitch. Okay, so here we should have 10 bean stitches. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have 10 bean stitches. So now I'm going to skip one single crochet and into the next, I'm going to make the same thing I did here, this corner fan. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, so here's another side completed. Okay, so you're going to do the exact same thing I just did for these 10, including this corner fan. You're going to do this one more time. So after you're done, you're going to make a fan and then again, one more side. Okay, so here, remember we're going to skip this next single crochet and into the next we're going to make a bean stitch. There it is, chain one. You're going to do this for a total of 10 and then into the next you're going to skip and make your fan, okay? So you're going to have, let's see, you're going to have four corners of these fans. So we've already done two, one, two, so you're going to do one, two, and then I'll show you how to complete this last part right here. So I'll meet you then. Okay, I'm almost done. I did my 10 bean stitches separated by one single crochet. I skipped one single crochet and into the next, I did this fan, skipped one single crochet and into the next, I did one bean stitch until I had a total of 10 bean stitches separated by one single crochet. And then I skipped one and into the next, I did my next corner fan. So now here to finish this side, all I need to do is complete these remaining ones. So I'm going to skip one single crochet and into the next, I'm going to make one bean stitch. There's one, skip one and into the next, 
again one bean stitch that's two skip one and into the next that's three skip one and into the next that's four skip one single crochet and into the next your fifth bean stitch close and here at the end remember I said we always start with a single crochet and we always end with a single crochet okay and here's your complete second row and there it is Okay, so here it is. This is your second row. And now let me show you the third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. We finished with one single crochet at the very end. So now for the third row, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn. And on top of this first single crochet, I'm going to make one more single crochet. Okay, and now here what we're going to do is on top of this first bean stitch, we're going to make one single crochet. Okay, that's two. And then here you're going to pull this bean stitch and pull this bean stitch right in between. You see these two little holes right there. There's hole one and hole two. You're, all you're going to do is into this first little hole, you're going to make one single crochet and then into the next you're going to make one single crochet. This is all you're going to do from here on. So just pull and right in between, you're going to make your single crochets. There's another two. And then the next two, right there and right there. Okay, there's the next one. So just like this, and then again, and then again. Okay, so here, notice that in this corner, I did my two bean stitches, and then we have these, um, this corner fan. So we have two double crochets, two chain, two double crochets. So we're going to work one single crochet on top of each one of these double crochets. So there's one and two, and into this chain two space, I'm only going to do one single crochet. Okay, and then I'm going to finish these two double crochets by making one single crochet on top. Okay, so one thing here, every time you're done working your fan, you're going to have to work one single crochet between this first bean stitch and then this fan. So right in the middle, right here, you're going to make your single crochet because we have one single crochet space down here you're going to do the same thing there and you're going to do this for this fan right here for this fan right here and for this fan right here and then now all I have to do is just continue making my single crochets so if you pull we have this little hole and the next little hole so right there that's where you're going to work your single crochets Okay, so continue like this. I will meet you at the end. And remember, at the end of this third row, you should have 89 single crochets because we're going to need those 89 to make one more row of these bean stitches. Okay, so I'll see you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 89 single crochets. And one thing here, right here where we have these fans we have four of them you're only going to count one single crochet um, because we only used one single crochet to make this fan with these four double crochets and the chain two okay so just one thing there in case you're counting each one yes you're going to have more than 89 if you count each one single crochet so on each fan you just count one which is this one here that we did on top okay so now for the fourth row we're going to chain one we're going to turn and into this very first single crochet you're going to make one single crochet 
and then into the next single crochet you're going to make one bean stitch so insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop six loops on my hook close chain one okay skip one single crochet and on to the next again one more bean stitch okay make sure that these loops that you pull are nice and loose so that when you do this it doesn't get caught okay so now here skip one and into the next same thing we're just doing the exact same thing we did on our first row of bean stitches notice that they go um, they align with each other that's four Skip one and into the next, again, one more bean stitch. Okay, so that's five bean stitches. We're going to skip one, two, three single crochets, and then on top, right here where I have this one single crochet, I'm going to make the same fan. So two double crochets. two chains, two double crochets. Okay, so now here we're going to skip three single crochets, one, two, three, and on the fourth, which is exactly right on top of this first bean stitch, I'm going to make one more bean stitch. There's one, skip one and into the next, one more bean stitch. There's two, so here we're going to work these 10 bean stitches. Okay, um, you can see them clearly here at the bottom. And notice that my yarn is changing color, I'm not changing it, it's the yarn. Okay, so here's skip one and into the next. Bean stitch, skip one and into the next, one bean stitch, that's four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, skip one and into the next, ten bean stitches, okay, and there you have them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now here we're going to skip these two single crochets that are on top of these two double crochets, and on top of the single crochet that's right here in the middle, I'm going to make my next fan. So double crochet, double crochet, chain two, two double crochets. One and, and two. Okay, and then here we're going to skip three single crochets, one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, we're going to start making our bean stitches for this other side. There it is, there's one. Skip one and into the next, your bean stitch. This is all you're going to do for this um, remaining bean stitches. So on this side, on this side, and then here at the end. So continue like this. Remember, do the exact same thing on every fan, on these two that you have left, 
um, the exact same thing we did here, okay? So I will meet you at the end of this row to show you the next row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. One thing here, I think I um, did a, a mistake at the beginning when we did these single crochet rows. Instead of making one single crochet here on this, um, on top of this um, bean stitch, um, we didn't have to make one there. So here to fix that, because I'm not going to go back and redo that one row, um, since it's at the very beginning and then I would have to do this other row again, is notice that here I skipped three instead of two, okay? And as you can see, you can hardly tell where the mistake is, okay? Only you will know. So here, I'm just going to skip one at the end and then into the, this last one I'm going to make my bean stitch and then here at the end is where we work our single crochet so we begin with one single crochet and we end with one single crochet and there it is that's what it looks like okay so if the same thing happened to you that you have one too many single crochets there um, that is the reason so sorry about that but as you can see you can hardly tell where, where we did that fix. Okay, so now here for the fifth row, you're going to chain one, you're going to turn and into this first single crochet, make one single crochet. Okay, and then here, this is where I was telling you that I did a mistake. So we don't need to make one single crochet on top of this bean stitch. You're going to just go in between each of these two bean stitches and make one single crochet into this very first little hole and then one single crochet into the next and this is all you're going to do all the way to the very end so I'll show you this part really quick um, what you need to do to remind you um, of how you need to work each corner fan okay so here in between in the middle between the fan two Okay, so here we have two double crochets. You're just going to work one single crochet on top of the first, one single crochet on top of the second, and inside this chain two, just make one single crochet, and into the next double crochet, one single crochet, and into the next, one single crochet. Okay, so here we have our first bean stitch and then this fan right in the middle, right there, you're going to make one single crochet. Don't forget to do that for the other fans that you have okay and then you just continue making two single crochets between each bean stitch okay so this is all you need to do for this fifth row so continue like this i will meet you at the end to show you the next row okay i'm here at the end of this fifth row one two three four five okay so Notice that I did one single crochet here right next to this last bean stitch and then I finished with my single crochet. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn and into this very first single crochet, we're going to make one single crochet. Into the next single crochet, I'm going to work one bean stitch. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, six loops, close, chain one. Okay, skip one single crochet and into the next one more bean stitch. That's six loops, close, chain one. Okay, and then again, skip one single crochet and into the next one more bean stitch. That's three, skip one and into the next one bean stitch. Skip one and into the next, one bean stitch, and this here should be my fifth bean stitch. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, which are the same here that we have at the bottom. Okay, so now here we're going to skip these single crochets and inside we have this one single crochet. Right on top, we're going to make um, two double crochets, one, two, two chains, two double crochets. Okay, just like this. And then you're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, 
uh, single crochet you're going to make your first bean stitch of this next side and you're going to just continue like this skip one and into the next one bean stitch and then you're going to work these 10 which are exactly the same at the bottom and then you're going to skip these single crochets and then on top where we have this single crochet right on top inside this chain two that's where you're going to work your fan skip three and into the fourth you're going to make your first fan for this side and continue like this until you come here to the end i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of the sixth row i finished by making my last single crochet and this is what it looks like we only have three rows of bean stitches okay and notice again i did not change the color here my yarn did that automatically okay but if you want to do it the same way i did you just change colors um, to a different color right here where we have this middle row of bean stitches so now we're going to work single crochets along this side and here at the top so to begin i did one chain and into this first single crochet right on the side i'm going to make one single crochet one single crochet into this next little space one single crochet into the next one single crochet into each one of these little holes that you see here just like this all the way to the top okay so i'm here at the top i did one two three four five six seven single crochets into this chain that's at the very beginning or right here that's seven and then again I'm going to now make one more single crochet into this very first space because of the corner stitch and then here what we're going to do is we're going to make single crochets along this side with reductions so insert your hook into this first um, chain space these um, chains or these little loops that you see up here are the remaining um, chain loops okay I tend to do my single crochets into both loops so I only have one little um, stitch left up here that's where I'm going to work these um, single crochets and reductions if you did your single crochet row where you only grabbed one loop you're going to have two loops up here so just make sure you insert your hook into both loops okay so now here i already did my first single crochet so here i have to do a reduction so insert your hook pull up a loop insert your hook into the next pull up a loop close there's my first reduction into the next you're going to make a normal single crochet into the next you're going to work a reduction so insert your hook pull up a loop insert your hook into the next pull up a loop three loops close and then again into this next space make one single crochet and into the next a reduction so insert your hook pull up a loop insert your hook into the next pull up a loop three loops close this is all you're going to do you're going to alternate between making one single crochet and one single crochet uh, reduction so just like this okay so continue like this all the way to the end I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end on this other side so I have one single crochet and into this chain that we have here that's at the beginning I'm going to make two single crochets into this very same space because now I'm going to work my way down on this other side just making single crochets just like this all the way to the bottom okay and then here we have this very first single crochet I'm just going to make one single crochet so now here we're going to come back here and work single crochet so chain one turn and into this first single crochet that we just did make one single crochet and a single crochet into each one of these single crochets all the way to the top just like this okay and then here I'm going to make one single crochet into this very corner single crochet and now I'm going to chain three because this is going to be one buttonhole 
and then back again into the same space, one single crochet. I'm only going to do one buttonhole because I'm only going to use one little button. Okay, so now here I'm going to continue working single crochets on each one of these single crochets that we did on the previous row until I come here to the very end. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, so I'm here at the end just about to work this um, last couple of stitches. So here in this corner, I'm going to work two single crochets into the same space and then continue down um, working these last single crochets. So once you come here to the very end, just make two single crochets into the same space and then work a single crochet, which is this first single crochet that's right before the bean stitch. Okay, so now here we're going to work a row of single crochets just like with the here in between each one of these rows of bean stitches. So here we're going to jump into these stitches that are between this bean stitch and this bean, bean stitch. So work a single crochet, work a single crochet, and then again into the next bean stitch right between these two little spaces, you're going to make two single crochets. Okay, just like this. And then here, one more. Okay, so here we have these two double crochets, just make one single crochet on top of each one. And then here, right in the middle, we're going to make one single crochet and then these two single crochets here for these two double crochets. And then right here, right between this first double, this first bean stitch and this fan, we're going to make one single crochet. And then now I'm just going to continue working two single crochets between each bean stitch. Just like this, all the way to the end, you're going to do the exact same thing I just did. Okay, so continue like this. I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I did my last single crochet into this space. And now what we're going to do is we're going to join both ends. I have this side and then this side. This is the side where we have our buttonhole. So this is the right side for me and this is the wrong side. So the buttonhole side is going to go under and then this other side is going to go on top just like this. Okay, and then I'm going to go into this second single crochet of this side and pull this loop through the front, just like this. And then here I'm just going to chain three and I'm going to turn, okay? This is the last single crochet that I worked on um, the last row. So I'm going to insert my hook and then here there's a space of another single crochet so in there I'm going to go in and pull and make one double crochet okay so I have the three chains and I did a double crochet but making sure to go through both um, stitches there so now again into this um, same space where I just did this double crochet I'm going to make one more and now I'm just going to go into the next single crochet and make two double crochets into the next two double crochets. We're going to work two double crochets um, into each one of these single crochets all the way to um, our first corner fan. So this is all we're going to do, just two double crochets. Okay, so I'm here at the very top. This is my single crochet at the very top of this fan. So right here where I have this space. 
So again, two double crochets, but here we're going to chain 12. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're going to skip these stitches and right on top of the next fan, right here, we're going to make two double crochets. And then continue along just making two double crochets for each one of these single crochets until you come to the other side right here where we have this next fan and then we're going to divide the same way we did so I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to do that okay I'm here at the end I finished here where I have this single crochet right on top I did two double crochets then I chained 12 and now here we're going to skip these stitches and right on top of the next fan here I'm going to make two double crochets one and two and then and then now here I just continue working two double crochets onto each one of these single crochets of your previous row just like this just like we have been doing uh, for this first row. Okay, so continue like this. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 113 double crochets, including the three chains. So here I'm just going to join with a slip stitch um, to here where we have these three chains. So now we're going to turn and I'm going to work a slip stitch into this next um, or into this first double crochet of this side so just like this and now I'm going to chain three and into the same space here where I just did my my slip stitch I'm going to make two more double crochets including the three chains we have three double crochets now chain one and then back again into this space one more double crochet Okay, and now we're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth double crochet. We're going to work three double crochets. One chain, one double crochet. And then again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth double crochet. Just make three double crochets into the same space chain one one double crochet okay skip one two three and into the fourth three double crochets chain one one double crochet skip one two three and into the fourth double crochet double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet skip one two three and into the fourth double crochet double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet skip one two three and into the fourth double crochet double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet and then here skip one two three and into this first chain same sequence three double crochets three chain one double crochet and then again skip one two three and into the fourth chain you're going to make three double crochets chain one one double crochet okay and then again skip one two three and into the fourth Three double crochets one two 
three, chain one, one double crochet. Okay, and then skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, this one here. See, one, two, three, four, yep. Um, three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets. Okay, I think you get the hang of how this stitch is worked. So just continue like this, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, work three double crochets. Chain one, three and one double crochet. So continue along this part. Right here where we have the chains, you just continue the same sequence and then I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to complete this second row and then start on our third row. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have these four double crochets, but I'm just going to join here to the beginning where we have these three chains of this first fan um, and finish this second row. So this is how we finish the second row. Now, for the third row, we're going to turn with the yarn in front of us we're going to make a slip stitch into this first double crochet, a slip stitch into the chain one space, chain three, the three chains count as one double crochet, so into this same space I'm going to make two more double crochets, chain one, double crochet. Okay, and then we have the next fan inside the chain one space we're going to make three double crochets that's two three chain one double crochet okay and then the next fan same thing inside the chain one space three double crochets that's two three chain one double crochet this is all you're going to do for this um, third row so continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you once again how to complete each row and then start on our next row. Okay, I'm here at the end. I'm just going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch. Okay, and this is how we complete this third row. Now for rows four through approximately the 20th row, if I do decide to do more, I'll leave the number of rows that I do right here. So I'll meet you at the end of this row. So here, for every row you're going to do the following. We're going to turn, after we joined with a slip stitch, you turn with the yarn in front of you you're going to make a slip stitch here on top of this first double crochet. Then a slip stitch inside this chain one space. And then here you're going to chain three and you're going to make two more double crochets. Including the three chains, you're going to have three double crochets. Okay, so now chain one and then back again into the same space, one double crochet. And then here we have our next fan. Inside each one of these chain one spaces, you're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, and then one double crochet. And then again into the next fan, inside the chain one space, three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, one double crochet. Okay, this is all you're going to do. So I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 20th row. I only did 19 rows of this um, stitch. Okay, so I have 19 rows. If you want to continue so that your little dress is longer, um, you can go ahead and do that. The only thing, make sure that you end in a row that you're working from the inside out. So this last row, I'm working from the inside. Okay, so here I'm just going to join to the beginning here with a slip stitch. And now I'm going to chain one and turn. Okay, so this here is the right side now. So 
Um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to make maybe one or two rows of single crochets all around. Um, really, it doesn't need much since um, the stitch itself is very pretty once it's done. So um, here, what I'm going to do is we have this first double crochet. I'm just going to make one single crochet. Then we have this chain one space. I'm going to make one single crochet. And then we have these three double crochets. I'm going to make one single crochet into the first, one single crochet into the second, and one single crochet into the third. And then again, we have the next fan. Into this first double crochet, one single crochet. Inside the chain one space, one single crochet. And then these three, same thing, one single crochet each. And this is all we're going to do for this row. So continue like this all the way to the end or all the way around. I will meet you here to show you the next row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of single crochet. So here, um, we're just going to continue making single crochets in, in a continuous round. Um, this means that all we do is just single crochets without um, making any slip stitch or anything. You just make a single crochet onto the first um, single crochet of your first row and then continue on just making single crochets just like this. I think I'm going to do a, a total of three rows. So this would be the second, so you're going to do one more. So I will meet you at the end of the third row to show you what it looks like. And then we're going to do um, a, another uh, single row of single crochets around the sleeve. Okay, I'm here at the end. I did three rows of single crochet. So now here I'm just going to go in and make a slip stitch to that first stitch at the beginning of the row and then just pass this through this last stitch and we are done. This is what it looks like, the bottom of the border, this is the back side, this is the front. Okay, so I also mentioned that I was going to do a single crochet row here, but I think I'm going to leave it as it is since um, it, it doesn't look like it needs one, so um, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so here's a little dress um, done. I'm going to put it in a hanger so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, okay so here's our little dress. This is what it looks like. Um, here's the bottom with a simple trim. Okay, there it is. That's what the yoke looks like. And the skirt. I love this stitch. There it is. That's the little bow that I added. And the back, that's what it looks like. And there it is. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.